Mobile, uh, the NMOs will implement uniform short code to check number of SIMs linked to a Ghana card. And um, simply what they are saying is that if you have a Ghana card and you do not know how many SIMs have been registered with your Ghana card, from the 1st of May, a short code will be given that you can use to check. And then when you go to the mobile uh, number provider or your telco, they can deactivate or delink those numbers from your Ghana card. Let's speak to Crosby Ann and my colleague who's been sitting through the presser that uh, took place a few minutes ago by the, uh, the, the, the regulator of the, of, the, of the sector, that's the national, the NCA, uh, National Communications Authority. Crosby, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. What is the process for delinking SIMs from, you know, uh, Ghana cards if, if the authorization is, is given? Right, uh, Martin, thanks for having me. So on the 1st of May, beginning the 1st of May 2023, MNOs, mobile network operators, they will be required to implement a unified short code to check the number of SIM cards linked to the Ghana card. And that short code is star 402 star 1 hash. Star 402 star 1 hash. So if you are an individual and you have experienced or you, said you, you think that your Ghana card has been used to register multiple SIM cards. Remember that in the past weeks we've had people complaining about they finding out that their Ghana cards have been used to register multiple SIM cards without their knowledge up to the 10 uh, deadline or the, the 10 number that is required. So if that has happened to you, beginning the 1st of May 2023, you could use the star 402 star 1 hash to check if your Ghana card has been used to register multiple SIM cards. If that is the case, then you can proceed to go to your mobile network operator and ask that it be delinked and ask that these numbers, you don't know these numbers, these A, B, C, D numbers, you're not, you, you don't know them, you don't use the numbers, so you ask that they delink them and the mobile network operators will be required to delink them, I think. Mm. And uh, I'm sure this is in collaboration with the mobile network operators, but... Um, right. Uh, f f what systems have been put in place to prevent numbers that are not linked from being deactivated as, as happened previously? So, Martin, what is going to happen is uh, from the 31st of May 2023, this is what will happen, over 11 million unregistered SIM cards will be deactivated from all databases in the country. 11 million of them will be deactivated. But for those who genuinely do not have their Ghana card, and that has been the reason why they have not been able to register their SIM cards, either the first registration or the second phase of the registration, what they can do is to prove that they really do not have their Ghana card. If they are able to prove the absence of a Ghana card or their inability to acquire a Ghana card, then their SIMs will not be deactivated. We also see it for Ghanaians who are in the diaspora who are on particular missions outside the country and as a result may not be able to, you know, register their SIM cards, go through the two-phase registration of their SIM cards. They will also be spared. So some allowance or some, you like, caveat has been given for people who do not have their SIM cards and those who for some reason are not able or are not in the jurisdiction of the country to be able to register their SIM cards.